Hello everybody, I promised another short video and it's Pat's Puck, <laughs> Pat's Pup Park Walk. My goodness, I think I'll have to change the name of that. Uh, thanks Julian. <laughs> but I've only got the one doggy, it's Darcy. But we're out and it's quite calm actually down in this little um, walkway just beside the river. I think that's actually still the River Kelvin but it's not really moving anywhere. Quite kind of just still. But the sun is out. It's like a, a clear sky. Probably a kind of snowy sky. And there's, there's actually a bird's nest way up there. Might be one that's just made or maybe it was made last last year. Uh, what has Darcy seen? What have you seen Darcy? What do you see? But it's nice to get out. I haven't been out for a couple of days, and I hope you saw my short impromptu video of my me and my beautiful haircut. So I'm feeling absolutely fabulous inside and out. <clears throat> Just reminding myself to do my ABC and. My affirmation today is, I feel fab. I feel a million dollars. And my breathing, of course. Just breathing in the gorgeous nature. Just the air, the pure air, actually. It's just quite pure down here. I'm just also using my C to imagine just that spring is coming. Spring is breaking through. Quite a few, we can see some greenery there just breaking through. And soon we'll have spring walks with gorgeous leaves on the trees. And we'll just, I'm just putting all the challenges of the past two years behind me. I've done a podcast, I'm going to publish it, but I think it's helpful because it's all about living by Huga or Huga, which is the Danish way of living simply, simply. just living in the now slowing everything down, slowing your brain down, slowing my walk down. I don't know if I can get any slower. <laughs> it's certainly not speed walking, but it's wonderful. And Darcy's just slowly walking as well. We're just dawdling along. Because all the leaves are off the trees, you can actually see almost right through the woods. There's another path down there. And I saw the children from the children's nursery just leaving actually as I came into the park. So they've obviously had a fabulous day in nature. Darcy, come on. Come on. She's decided to do her own thing, a bit like Floyd. But if I walk on, she'll follow me. Now, I've not seen any snowdrops or crocus. I know some people have posted them up. I think they should be coming through, perhaps in the more sheltered areas of the wood. Darcy! <whistles> oh, the uh Look at that, not far from my side. And I've just passed somebody who said, Oh, is she a pup? And I said, No, <laughs> I think she's six now. I keep thinking she's younger, but I'm sure she's six, maybe coming on seven this year. But she still thinks she's a puppy and she thinks she's a lap dog.
now we'll just head into the woods for a short walk I think it'll be quite muddy because um, coming through the other day it had been frosty so the ground was quite hard but now it's certainly a bit muddy so I think we'll stick to the main path here Right, Darcy, this way. Good girl. Now we'll see if any of spring is showing any signs of bursting through the ground. I love being among my trees and actually today there's no wind. I know there's been terrible storms which are awful but I think I missed them. I think I stayed in yesterday when the weather was really wild but today certainly seems to the winds died down a bit and of course in this wood it's quite sheltered. That's a lovely green bush. Now this is terrible. I really should learn some of the names of things. I like when people post up information on nature. I didn't realise actually that the holly bush, when the I always imagined all the leaves had spikes, but apparently the spikes are on lower branches and uh, so that if animals try to eat them they'd get prickly, you know, their nose prickled. But as the leaves go higher up, there's no prickles on them. Quite interesting. Nice markings on this tree here. Let's have a wee look. Look at the bark of this tree. Now I wonder what Darcy has seen. No, no, nothing. There's a holly bush. So apparently the prickly leaves are down below but as the bush grows very tall apparently the leaves have no prickles. I need to kind of check that out again but I also see, look at this, some shoots here. Now that's spring about to burst through isn't it? Another. There we are. Now, where's Darcy headed off? Darcy! <whistles> oh, there's lots of them there, see that? No. There she is. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, she doesn't go far from my side. <laughs> well, we go back down onto the path, Darcy, so we don't slip and fall. That'd be disastrous. Look at the sun just glinting off this bark here. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? We go just have a wee a tree hug. The energy of the tree. I remember when I was doing a residential summer school down at Sussex University. Um, people thought we were a bit mad, but it was really sunny, very, very warm. And instead of lecturing inside, we came outside. And there was a sort of lovely 
group of trees and we sat down and then I said, do you know what, we're all going to go over and we're going to hug a tree. <laughs> because you do get energy from the tree. Absolutely beautiful. Now here's lots of greenery here bursting through. Now somebody maybe message me, give me a message. What are these? They look a bit like daffodils, but I think they're too long for crocus, I think too long for snowdrops. Right, somebody will no doubt message me and tell me what they are. Now there's a tree up here that's fallen down but actually that had already fallen down before the stormy winds. I make sort of lovely shapes actually. And, uh, Right, I'm just actually going to finish off now with the sun glinting through the trees. Darcy wondering, I wonder where we're going now. So I'm going to head off, remember my ABC, and smile and laugh, they cost you nothing. And virtual hugs to everybody. Bye for now. <laughs>